Hi everyone, it's Alina from Xactimate Mastery here, and today I want to talk about Xactimate crashing. So about two years ago, I was four hours deep into the most beautiful, pristine estimate I had ever written. It was amazing. I had all the perfect line items in there, and was just rocking and rolling. I added one last line item, and then BAM! Unhandled exception. Crazy, crazy thing Xactimate does is crash right when you just really do not want it to. It always seems to happen. So I want to show today how to prevent this from happening here in your Xactimate and uh, create a good system that works so that you can at least recover your work when something like this happens. So let me show you how to do that. What you're going to want to do is whenever you first open up an estimate, I mean the very first thing you, you do when you open up an estimate before you filled out any of the information is to hit the save button. Now what the save button does is create a restore point in the program. So once you hit save, it tells the program, okay, we're going to start from here and start doing an auto save in the background. And you can set that up for every two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes if you want. There's a preferences setting in the program. But today what I want to talk about is setting these restore points up so that you know where you can go back physically and restore the estimate from that specific restore point. So what I mean by that is usually after I fill out the claim info, get my parameters all filled out, I'll hit save. And then when I perform my sketch, if you sketch, I usually finish my sketch and then hit save. Because it, sketch uses a large portion of your processor and so um, Xactimate sometimes may crash you know, during this process. So you might even want to save as you go along as you're building your roof or your interior. And then, of course, once I get into estimate items, after I finish a folder, usually I might save. Or after I finish adding a long list of line items, I'll save just to make sure that I don't uh, lose that work. So let me show you where the save restore points actually show up. If you go to the main part of your program and go to the projects main tab at the top of your screen here, you'll see that there's a recycle bin over here to the right. And this recycle bin is similar to what you would see in Windows. I think in Mac OS, there's like the little trash bin. I don't know what the technical term is for it. But that's what this recycle bin is for Xactimate specifically. So if I click on my recycle bin, you'll see here that I've been making restore points. Down here at the bottom is the most recent. And I've actually saved that estimate um, about uh, eight or nine times in the last uh, 10 minutes. So that shows you where you can go and pick out one of these restore points and restore it back either to the newest version or if you made a huge mistake on the estimate and you're going, why did I do that? You can pull up your recycle bin and go to a previous version before you made the large mistake and it can go back to a previous version where it just, that mistake never happened. So that's the recycle bin and that's how you use it. Of course, again, these restore points are being created every time that I hit this little save button right here. It's not apparent, it's not intuitive. Most people don't know that that's what it does, but that's what you're, whenever you click that button there, you've got a restore point out here in your recycle bin. This has been Alina Wilson with Xactimate Mastery. If you like this topic, please like the video. Also, if you click subscribe below, we release weekly tech tips to keep you current in Xactimate. For more information on Xactimate Mastery, be sure to visit xmatemastery.com. Hope you guys have a great, successful week in your business, and we'll see you next week.